video, I'd like to introduce you guys to the Caliber Gun Cricket 2. So the Caliber Gun Cricket 2, it is available in a variety of stock configurations as well as 177, 22, 25, and yes, 30 calibers. So with all those options, there's going to be a model in here that I'm sure is going to at least pique your interest. And having been developed off of the very successful Cricket 1 or the original Cricket, they have made some very nice improvements as well, including moving this side lever up to the midpoint of the rifle, which is gonna be great for cycling that bolt action nice and fast and especially offhand, as well as making sure that side lever is easily swappable from left to right side and vice versa by you, the user at home. Now, the stock configuration that was sent to me by Caliber Gun is known as the WB model and has a slick magazine holder built right into the stock. And I absolutely love this feature as I'm always looking for a way to keep a variety of magazines for my air gun collection organized. This one feature alone allows me to keep the magazine right with the rifle and ready to be used on my next outing. Not to mention if you're out hunting, preloaded magazines right at hand. Well, that's a really nice convenience if you ask me. Probably already know that the Caliber Gun Cricket 2 comes with an outstanding trigger for a bullpup. And you might be asking yourself, why did he add for a bullpup in that statement? Well, that's because to be brutally honest, the bullpup style of rifle is not always known for having the best trigger. And this is due to the need for an additional linkage that travels from the trigger back to the firing mechanism and this linkage, if it's not precision machined, then it's going to allow for a lot of slop. The caliber gun though has taken this and they have made an art out of it because the trigger on this is very, very good. Now, what was my reaction to the caliber gun when I took it out of the box and felt that trigger? Well, I can guarantee you it was a huge ear to ear grin because I really could feel the craftsmanship built into this thing. And although my personal opinion is very subjective, the data shouldn't be, and it isn't. Testing the trigger with a digital gauge showed me that I was averaging on 10 trials, so I gave you the average of 10 here, was 6.0 ounces. And this is a dual stage adjustable trigger, and that is not bad at all. Now, filling the air gun is very straightforward and easy. It comes with a 280cc uh, cylinder, which can be filled to a maximum of 300 bar, which is about 4,350 PSI. In my testing, though, I did find that there's no need for you to fill to these extremely high pressures, and we'll talk more about that as we get into the chronograph data as well as the accuracy. Now, to fill this air gun, you're gonna go ahead and go to the front of the muzzle down here, and there is a spring-loaded cover, which is very nice, helps to keep debris out in the field, and you're gonna go ahead and need to insert a fill probe into the front here. Now, this is one area that I love to see the PCP market as a whole get rid of, is the necessity of a fill probe. What do you guys think? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? Hey, leave your comment down below. I wanna know what your thoughts are on this. Now. Another interesting feature is this little switch here. This allows you to disengage the magazine system and allows you to rotate the magazine one at a time by hand uh, to find a single pellet perhaps in your magazine or if you just wanna act as if it is a shot tray and you can just rotate that shot tray on your own, disengaging it from the lever system here. So that's a very nice and interesting feature that I find also. So let's go ahead and take a look at some chronograph data here. Now, I was able to find that the Caliber Gun Cricket did achieve the greatest consistency from around 220 bar down to 100 bar in 22 caliber. We could tune it for something else because you can tune this air gun, but this is how it came to me out of the box. Uh, let's go ahead and start though as you dive into these numbers. Let's go ahead and see what it does that from a full 300 bar. And from this massive amount of air in this little cylinder, the Caliber Gun Cricket 2 was able to achieve just under 100 shots with an average speed of 889 feet per second and a standard deviation of 19.4 feet per second. Now these numbers are great for field use, but you're not gonna get the greatest consistency and accuracy from a 300 bar fill. And like most air gunners, I wanted to see where that absolute best was and what that best option would be if I was just shooting at the range or maybe I'm just gonna use this air gun uh, for a little competition for fun one day. And so I went ahead and I removed 
the outliers in the data. And I found that uh, at the beginning, there were some outliers at that really high pressure. And then down at the lower end of the pressure, there are some also some odd shots. So, but I was able to shrink that down from 220 bar to 100 bar to find that sweet spot. And of course, this reduces my shot count to about 62, but it also increased the overall consistency. And from this lower pressure starting point, I was able to get uh, an average of 880 feet per second per shot and obtain a standard deviation in those single digits of 9.1 feet per second. And this is exactly where you want to see a high-end air rifle achieving single digit standard deviation results. So with the barrel clean, a fresh tin of pellets, the Aztec optic scope mounted and leveled, I went down to the range to see what this air gun really could do. Now, unfortunately, I live in Ohio and in this kind of this spring winter time, we get a lot of high winds and I finally found a day that was going to be about six to 10 miles per hour. And believe it or not, even at six to 10 miles per hour, when you're trying to really dial in an air gun to show you guys, the viewers, what this can really do, it feels like a day gone hurricane out there, but you know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. So I went ahead and zeroed the rifle out at 50 yards. And I went ahead and during that zeroing process, I noticed that I was pretty in some decent sized groups without even really trying. And uh, remember that testing data from earlier? Well, that came into play here as well. So at the beginning, there are higher levels, just kind of ahead and doing some testing. I was able to do some five shot groups easily, unsorted pellets at 0.74 inches center to center at 50 yards. Now, that is great for field use. So if you're gonna need a maximum of 100 shots, go ahead and do that, because you're gonna get some really good results. But if you're looking to shrink those groups down, around 220 to 100 bar, like I mentioned earlier, I was able to get 0.53 inches center to center, five shot groups really consistently. And when your air gun shoots like that, that really just takes your confidence level and your expectations to a whole nother level. So let's talk about this caliber gun and where it really shines. And as a bullpup, like most bullpups, it does a great job off hand. It is a little bit heavier than some rifles I have used, but this weight really helps to settle the rifle in when you're shooting an offhand position because it balances so nicely. I went ahead and just to show how this worked, I went ahead and set up some fire, uh, Firebird targets at 25 yards and 75 yards. These are about inch and a half targets. And I can report that I was able to successfully hit both of those targets, albeit though the second one at 75 yards. Well, let me tell you, looking through the scope makes you feel like a drunken sailor standing on the deck of a ship. But I was able to get that within a couple of shots, no problem. Gun Cricket 2, 22 caliber. That's what it's all about. Gotta love it. <laughs> One little piece I do want to address with this rifle is like a fine pair of leather boots. It does take a little bit of a break in process to get everything to move smoothly and operate smoothly. So I don't want you to get this out of the box and you buy it and say, well, yeah, it feels a little rough. No, after about 600 shots, you could really feel the metal parts starting to mesh together smoothing out that cocking lever, that cocking system, and really coming into its own. This thing feels really, really good now. Hey, if you want more information about Caliber Gun, some of their other offerings, go ahead and visit them at calibergun-usa.com. If you're looking to purchase one, you're gonna to wanna to visit one of two distributors here in the United States, Georgia Air Guns or Air Guns of Arizona. And I think I may have even talked Baker air guns into picking up a couple of these to try also. So you might want to check them out as well. Hey, both of those two first companies though, Georgia air guns, air guns of Arizona, both have a plethora of parts. So if anything were to go wrong, you can reach out to them. They're bound to help you out. Uh, they're great companies to work with. So uh, no problems there. And you know, otherwise this is one heck of a fun gun to shoot. So until next time guys, may your trigger pull stay smooth, your pellets fly straight, and we're gonna see you again next time on the Air Gun Advisory.